good morning dear brothers and sisters and greetings in the name of jesus christ our lord it is good for us to be together again for a few minutes sitting at the feet of jesus to meditate on his wonderful word that might give us some enlightenment and encouragement for our lives and service today today's meditation is centered around that very familiar verse found in the gospel according to st john chapter 3 verse 16 where it says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life a very prominent jew came to jesus one day and entered into a discourse with him his name nicodemus in the course of their conversation jesus told nicodemus three things concerning this life and the salvation in jesus christ number 1 the nature of new birth number 2 the purpose of his coming to this world and number 3 the happiness of those who believe in him these are the three things that we can discover from this discourse number 1 the unspeakable love of god unspeakable love of god God so loved the world man in his separation from God has fallen into the abyss of misery from which he could never extricate himself but God so loved the world what world the world of God's intelligent creatures man the human race how much did god love us and uh, it begins to say god so loved the world now that expression so loved is beyond explanation so richly and so freely so inexpressibly so infinitely what does it mean to you that's the way god loved us no limit his love to you first of all his love to you was unmerited his love to you was unmerited now what does that mean there was nothing in man to attract god's love nothing absolutely nothing much less to merit it we were guilty and rebellious against god nevertheless god so loved we were created in the image of god but sin came and distorted that image of god within us that divine image in us the result was while man could still love but love in man has become selfish and distorted he can still think and decide but his thinking and decisions are marked by selfishness pride arrogance and greed that's the problem god's original image and likeness had nothing of these things to mar but sin entered and a mad or distorted that image of god as a result man became so selfish and so proud and so arrogant so selfish we do not deserve to be loved but nevertheless god so loved 
us. And the second thing we notice is, God's love also is universal. What does it say in the verse? He loved the world. You know, God has no religion. God has no creed. God has no caste. God simply loves mankind, human being or human race. Man in his rebellion and his arrogance divided man into religion and caste, etc. But God the Creator loves humanity of which you are a member. I am a member. And so here is God, the Creator, the Almighty, or oh, the Sovereign God, the one who lives in an unapproachable light and glory. Who can ever understand or explain Him? He is beyond our comprehension and beyond our, our explanation. This God, in spite of all our unworthiness and uh, undeserving of His grace, he loved us. After the death and the resurrection of Jesus, and before he went back to heaven, he commissioned his disciples, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. How? By baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them everything I have taught you. That was his commission. This one God who loved us, now he came into this world and accomplished the way of reconciliation between God and man and provided salvation and forgiveness and eternal life to those who choose to believe in Him and submit themselves to His Lordship. And He chose certain disciples and before He went back to heaven, He gave this job to His disciples. If He is the only Savior, and there is no other savior and no other way of salvation. This news must be given to every person. Regardless of one's religions or creed or caste or uh, his position or status in the society. We read this in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 and 20 and then again the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 16 verse 15. God's love and salvation is for all nations, all tribes, all kindred and all languages without any exemption. That's what the scripture says, for God so loved the world. He was born in the center of the planet Earth and he was crucified there and he is coming back to the center of our planet to establish his kingdom, his kingdom where righteousness and justice and love will prevail. And then God's love also is unparalleled. No human being could ever equal this act of mercy. Love so amazing. Love beyond degree. Love for the for, for which there is no parallel at all. 
one songwriter has described it this way. Imagine could we with ink the oceans fill and every man a scribe by trade and every branch of every tree in this entire planet earth is used as a pen and the sky as the paper and let all the scribes sit at one end of the paper and start writing and explaining the love of God and the songwriter went on to say the ink may dry out from the oceans and the pen the branches of every tree in the world may be worn out and the scribes will exhaust their expressions their language to explain the love of God still the love of God cannot be explained fully and my friends we are limited creatures by fall every thing about us as a limit now we are limited in our understanding we are limited in our capacity to think and understand fully everything about this God but whatever we need to know of this God has been revealed to us when God sent his son Jesus Christ into the world he has come as a revelation of this almighty God whose love is beyond measure and my friends this morning let me encourage you do you think this God does not care for you who gave himself to you hallelujah who can ever fathom his amazing love we were rebellious we were disobedient we were like enemies of God we never sought God once sins captured us but nevertheless he still loved us and he came down in search of us for Jesus when he was here on earth he said I have come to seek and to save that which was lost humanity was lost in sin and in transgression and Jesus came to find us and save us and bring us back to him in a relationship a very personal relationship which must grow into intimacy and into an intimate friendship and relationship and love must grow for this Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so that as Apostle Paul says nothing in the entire universe can separate us from the love of God this God who came down to save you and be reconciled with you don't you think he will give us everything else that we need to live in intimacy with this holy eternal God and enjoy eternity with him this is God's plan and purpose for you my friend he who has not spared his own son so the word of God says but gave him up for us all will he not along with him also give everything else that we need to live a victorious joyful fulfilling satisfying life of God and then enter 
into eternity to spend eternity with this god worshiping serving and reigning with him you are meant to reign and so may these words this morning encourage you to live and look forward for the appearance of this jesus the savior to take you and remove you from this world of trials and heartaches and sin and wickedness and unrighteousness away from this atmosphere and give you life and a rulership god bless you as you live and enjoy his love every day and may the lord be with you today and enjoy serving him ever praising him ever worshiping him father in jesus name i pray for every single person who will be listening to these words and the, there will be people who will for the first time understand the the greatness and the glory and the splendor of god's love and they shall enter into this love with god and enjoy life forevermore amen god bless you today this is a great day enjoy this day and glorify god amen